In the panorama of technology, few names shine as brightly as Steve Jobs. A trailblazer in true sense, Jobs transformed our world, pioneering the way we interact with technology. His vision led to the evolution of personal computing, making it accessible and user-friendly. He didn't stop there. He reinvented mobile technology, turning smartphones into an indispensable part of our lives. Even the music industry wasn't spared from his innovative touch with the creation of iTunes. Now let's take a journey through the life of this extraordinary innovator. Born on February 24, 1955 in San Francisco, California, Steve Jobs' journey was unique from the start. Adopted by Paul and Clara Jobs, Steve was introduced to the world of electronics through his father's garage-based workshop. This early exposure sparked a fascination in Jobs that would shape his future. As a teenager, Jobs' curiosity propelled him to seek experiences beyond the confines of his life in California. This quest led him to India where he delved into Eastern spirituality, a journey that would deeply influence his approach to business and innovation. Upon his return, Jobs enrolled at Reed College in Oregon. Yet the traditional path of education didn't hold Jobs' interest for long. After only six months he dropped out choosing instead to audit classes that intrigued him, like calligraphy. This unconventional approach to education would later be reflected in Apple's aesthetically pleasing designs. Jobs' unconventional early life set the stage for a career that would defy expectations. In 1976 Jobs, along with Steve Wozniak and Ronald Wayne started Apple in the Jobs family garage. It was a humble beginning for a company that would soon revolutionize the world of technology. Jobs, a 21-year-old college dropout, and Wozniak, a self-taught engineer, were the dynamic duo at the heart of Apple's inception. Ronald Wayne, though less known, was an instrumental part of this trifecta, providing business acumen to the young visionary pair. Their first product was Apple I, a single board computer for hobbyists. With a price tag of $666.66, it was a bold introduction into the market. Yet it was Apple II, launched a year later in 1977, that truly put Apple on the map. With its impressive graphics and an open architecture allowing for expansion, Apple II was a hit, making personal computing accessible and appealing to a wider audience. But Jobs didn't stop there. His next brainchild was the Macintosh, a computer that was to redefine user interaction with technology. Launched in 1984, the Macintosh was the first mass-market personal computer featuring a graphical user interface and a mouse. It was a game-changer introducing the public to a new way of interacting with computers. However, just as Apple was soaring high Jobs experienced a significant setback. In 1985, following a power struggle with Apple's board of directors, Jobs was ousted from the company he had co-founded. It was a jarring exit that left many questioning the future of Apple. But Jobs was not one to be easily deterred. He took this setback in stride, viewing it not as a failure but as an opportunity for growth and exploration. I didn't see it then, he would later say, but it turned out that getting fired from Apple was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. Despite his exit, Jobs' impact on Apple was far from over. His vision had set the stage for Apple's future innovations, and his influence would continue to be felt long after his departure. As we'll see, this was just the beginning of Jobs' extraordinary journey with Apple. After leaving Apple, Jobs found new avenues for his innovative spirit. In 1985 he created Next, a computer platform development company. The focus was not just on hardware but also on software with the Next Step operating system. It was a bold move considering the dominance of Microsoft and IBM at the time. Next computers, though not commercially successful, were hailed for their technological innovations. They were among the first to feature a magneto optical drive for data storage, and the first to use the Unix operating system, which would later become the foundation for Apple's OS X and iOS. Next was not just another computer company, it was a beacon of innovation, pushing the boundaries of what computers could do. While Next was making waves in the computer world, Jobs had his eyes on another industry. Animation. In 1986, he bought the graphics group from Lucasfilm, which he would later rename Pixar. At the time, computer-generated animation was in its infancy, and Pixar was at the forefront. Jobs saw the potential in this new medium, and he invested heavily in Pixar's technology and talent. He fostered a culture of creativity and innovation, and his vision paid off with the release of Toy Story in 1995. It was the first-ever feature-length film to be entirely computer-animated, and it was a box office smash, forever changing the landscape of animated films. 
Through Next in Pixar, Jobs demonstrated his ability to see the potential in new technologies and to take risks on unproven ideas. He proved that his innovative spirit extended beyond the realm of personal computing. Whether it was in the field of computing with Next or in animation with Pixar, Jobs was always looking to push the boundaries. He was not just a visionary, but a visionary with the courage to follow through on his visions, and in doing so, he changed not just one industry, but several. Jobs proved that his innovative spirit extended beyond the realm of personal computing. In a dramatic turn of events, Jobs returned to Apple in 1997. This marked the beginning of a new era for the company. At the time, Apple was struggling, but Jobs, with his relentless determination and vision, was ready to bring it back from the brink. The first major product announcement under his leadership was the iMac in 1998. Jobs recognized the need for a user-friendly, all-in-one computer that was as aesthetically pleasing as it was functional. The iMac was just that. With its translucent candy-colored casing and streamlined design, it quickly became a symbol of the new Apple. But Jobs didn't stop there. In 2001 he introduced the iPod, a portable music player that revolutionized the way we listen to music. The iPod was a game-changer, transforming Apple from a computer company into a consumer electronics powerhouse. It was small, sleek, and easy to use with a wheel-based interface that was as intuitive as it was innovative. Then came the iPhone in 2007. Combining a phone, an iPod, and an internet communicator in one device, the iPhone changed everything. It was the embodiment of Jobs' vision of technology that was not just functional but also beautiful and intuitive. The iPhone was a hit, setting new standards for mobile technology and cementing Apple's place at the forefront of the tech industry. In 2010 Jobs unveiled the iPad, once again pushing the boundaries of what technology could do. The iPad was a tablet computer that combined the power and functionality of a laptop with the portability and ease of use of a smartphone. It was another testament to Jobs' commitment to making technology accessible and enjoyable for everyone. Throughout his time at Apple, Jobs always insisted on products that were both easy to use and visually stunning. He believed that technology should be an extension of ourselves, and his products reflected this philosophy. He had a unique ability to anticipate what people wanted before they even knew they wanted it, and his vision continues to shape the tech industry to this day. With these groundbreaking products, Jobs reinstated Apple as a leading player in the tech industry. His return to Apple marked a new chapter in the company's history, one that would leave an indelible mark on the world of technology. Jobs' final years were marked by health struggles, but his innovative spirit never wavered. In 2004 the world was shocked to learn that Steve Jobs was battling a rare form of pancreatic cancer. Despite his illness Jobs continued to lead Apple, displaying the same passion and dedication that had become his trademark. In those years Jobs was not just battling his disease, he was also continuing to innovate, pushing the boundaries of what was possible in the tech industry. He was instrumental in the development of the iPhone 4 and the iPad 2, devices that would further cement Apple's position as a leader in the tech world. However, in August of 2011, Jobs announced his resignation as Apple's CEO. In a letter to the Apple board and the Apple community, Jobs wrote, I have always said if there ever came a day when I could no longer meet my duties and expectations as Apple's CEO, I would be the first to let you know. Unfortunately, that day has come. This marked the end of an era for Apple and the tech industry as a whole. Just a few months later on October 5, 2011, Steve Jobs passed away. His death sent shockwaves through the tech world and beyond, and tributes poured in from around the globe. But even after his death, Jobs' impact on the tech industry did not diminish. His innovative spirit, his dedication to design and user experience, and his ability to envision the future of technology continue to shape the way we interact with the digital world. From the sleek design of the MacBook, to the intuitive interface of the iPhone, Jobs' influence can be seen in every corner of the tech industry. Today, Apple continues to innovate in the spirit of Steve Jobs, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and continuing to transform our lives in ways we could have never imagined. Steve Jobs left us too soon, but his legacy continues to inspire innovation and creativity. His spirit, his vision and his relentless pursuit of excellence continue to drive the tech world forward, reminding us all that the status quo can always be challenged. So, we've journeyed through the life of Steve Jobs, a man whose vision reshaped our modern world. From his early days in education to the birth of Apple, his ventures with Next and Pixar, 
and his triumphant return to Apple, Jobs' influence on technology remains unparalleled. His legacy continues to inspire and transform our daily lives. In the words of Jobs himself, stay hungry, stay foolish. And with that, we bid you farewell until our next exploration of the tech world's greatest minds.